Hi, good morning. I hope that. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the different types of differential equations, but also we have to know that there are different uh, criteria that we have to talk about in order to classify the differential equations. So uh, the first uh, criterion is the number of uh, independent variables. So by this way, if our differential equation depends only of one independent variable, we are going to have an ordinary differential equation or ODE. And if we have more than one independent variables, we are going to have a partial differential equation, PDE. Both of them depends about the number of independent variables. And uh, we have a general way to write each one of them. This general way or general structure tell us how are we going to write a differential equation formally. And this is the general structure for the for an ODE. And the second one is the general structure for a PDE. Also, we can take as a criteria the, the order of the differential equation. In this case, we can have the first order differential equation when the order of the differential equation is 1, or we can have a higher order differential equations. In this case, we have the order set to 2 or more. In some cases, some books say that we have the first order differential equation, second order differential equation, and then higher order differential equations. But it depends on the book. And the general form for a first order differential equation uh, is this one. We can have, we may have two formulas for this kind of equations. And this is the general form for a higher order differential equations. If we, ca if we can see, this general way includes the first order differential equations. So this is more general. And in some cases, we are going to set or, or have this equation as a general form. So it is, it is like the mother of the general equations for different kinds of uh, differential equations or for different types, I think it is better. Um, also, another crit criteria is about the constraints that we have on the dependent variable. By this way, we can have a linear differential equation or a nonlinear differential equation. In the first case, we are not going to have trigonometric or uh, non-algebraic functions yep. or the dependent variable is not being uh, multiplied by itself or by a der derivative so this is the biggest um, the biggest difference so in if in the coefficient, we don't have a function or a derivative of y. It could be a linear differential equation. For instance, in this case, uh, 
ya yeah, we're multiplying the, the the differential by x and also the function the dependent variable but in the other case we are we are multiplying the dependent variable by its derivative and also we have a trigonometric function on the derivative so by this way this is not a linear differential equation it, it will be a non-linear differential equation and another type depends on the coefficients of the derivatives we can have uh, differential equations with uh, constant coefficients like this we are the root of p the natural logarithm of 2 uh, 5 uh, 15 the, the derivative times 15 uh, 8 times y and and so and I, I i mean these are constants right and also we can have uh differential equations with variable coefficients by this way uh, we can have functions multiplying the derivative or uh, the the function itself yep and the general form for the constant coefficients differential equations is this one and this is the general form for uh, variable constant coefficients look that uh, ao of x is a function yep so it, it, it is because we have variable functions as coefficients uh, also about uh, the non-homogeneous term we can have homogeneous uh, differential equations or non-homogeneous differential equations in in this case it is important that in spanish we have equaciones diferenciales homogeneas y no homogeneas but in some books I read that uh, for non non homogeneous differential equations they called uh, as heterogeneous but I haven't heard in Spanish uh, anything about equaciones diferenciales heterogeneas so uh, I think it is better just to say homogeneous or not homogeneous and in this case we can have the non-homogeneous term set to O and if we can set it to O it will be an homogeneous if, if, if it should be a function it would be a non-homogeneous differential equation yep. but um, what I mean by this way is that if in the first member of the equality, so I mean the left member, if in that left member we can add all the terms with derivatives or the dependent function by this side, and in the other side, in the right side, we have O, it would be a differential equation if we don't have an O after that we are going to have a non-homogeneous homogeneous differential equation we also have to take care about how are we watching the function or the uh, differential equation because this one is the same like this we can move the differential of x to the, the other member and we are going uh, uh, we are going to have o yep 
and uh, it is the same in this case also uh, well now I'm going to talk about application and use of differential equations we have a lot of um, we have a lot of, of applications or uses of differential equations for instance talking about grow and decay we have about popul population growth and decay the spread of epidemics glucose absorb absorption and all of them have almost the same differential equation because all of them are growth uh, are, are growth applications yep so also if the difference of the relation of growing is positive we are going to have a positive constant if it is negative or it means a decay we are going to have a negative uh, constant also we can apply uh, differential equations to the, the Newton's law of cooling which means about the time uh, and temperature of a container of or a body an object inside another object and how much time or, or and how the temperature will be changing through the time by this way we can know how much time we are going to have our coffee hot if we like coffee and also uh, the, the equation differential equations are important for the Newton's second law of motion and other applications are interacting species in, in this case when uh, an animal is eaten by other yep and how the population of these animals are going to be surviving through the time but in this case we are going to have two equations because we have two different animals and they are making a dynamic system when we have a normal equations we have a system of equations right but when we have systems of differential equations they are called dynamic system and uh, just for le learning a little bit more I found this wave website it is in English and I think it is good for learning equation uh, differential equations and also some vocabulary in English so this is a first uh, uh, this is a free course that we can watch and, and we can learn from uh, yeah just for getting more vocabulary in english so if you want you can go to kana to kana academy uh, to kana academy dot org slash mat slash differential equations so See you the next weekend. Have a nice week.